welcome to a new vlog. It's Saturday. I have been relaxing for most of today. I have proofread two chapters, so I'm feeling very proud of myself for that. And I've run some errands earlier this morning, but for the most part, I've just been relaxing. I've watched The Tandler Swindler on Netflix, and then I started watching a drama series on Netflix. Not sure how I feel about that one. I'm starting to watch Harlan Coben's Stay Close, and I've seen two other adaptations on Netflix of his books, and I liked them overall, but this one just feels like it's slow, so I'm not sure about this one, but I might continue watching it tonight. But I am about to go out for a hike, and since the weather is warming up, today is beautiful. Today is absolutely beautiful, but tomorrow and Monday will also be really nice, but definitely a little bit warmer in the low 70s, and then after that it goes up every day from Tuesday through next weekend goes up into like 79, 80 degrees. I'm not ready, but we're not gonna think about that. We're not gonna think about that. Since it's warming up, it does make me worried that my hiking days are numbered, because as I've explained before on the vlog, when it gets into like the 80s as a high, I'm also kind of watching the lows, because I think part of it's also when the lows get above a certain point. There's just a certain point in the temperature change when the geckos and the lizards and the rattlesnakes all start to come back out. So far, knock on wood, I'm not seeing any of those. I'm not seeing anything other than birds and rabbits when I'm out hiking right now. But eventually that's going to change, and when it does, I stop hiking. <laughs> and I switch back to walking around the neighborhood. That is both because I just don't like creepy crawlies. I don't I don't like reptiles. I just don't. I know some people keep them as pets. I'm not a fan. But like geckos, like geckos I'm not afraid of. They're not scary. They are kind of cute. My problem with geckos is they are so fast that by the time my brain processes that it's just a gecko and I don't need to be afraid, I've already leapt five feet into the air and my heart has already started to pound, which I really don't need that right now. And so I, my fear is that I will trip and fall because a gecko scares me before I realize it's just a gecko and I don't need to be scared. So once I start seeing the geckos come back out, I, I, I stop hiking because if they're out, the rattlesnakes aren't that far behind. So because the weather changes so quickly, I never know really when my last hike is my last hike. Like I'll go hiking one day thinking I can go hiking again and then it changes overnight and it's like, I guess that was my last hike. So I'm hiking as much as possible and I want to vlog as many hikes as possible that are left in the season before I have to stop for the summer. So even though I haven't really been vlogging today, I wanted to pop on, start this vlog, I'm gonna continue it tomorrow and I wanted to vlog the hike and share that with you and then hopefully I can go hiking again. I think I can go hiking again tomorrow. So you might get two hikes in this vlog. So this is your little bonus hike to start the vlog and then I think tomorrow will be a longer hike. Today I'm still so tired. If you watched the last vlog you saw that I went for a really long hike, a much longer hike than I should have gone yesterday considering how exhausted I was on Friday and it had been a long day yesterday and it had been a long week and I intended to just go for a really chill hike yesterday and then ended up being out there for over just over an hour. So today I'm definitely going to keep it under an hour and I'm going to go slower. I'll probably do a different trail from the one I did yesterday so that I'm not tempted to go too far. I'm gonna do a trail that I know I can just like stop and turn myself around after about 20-ish minutes and keep my hike to like 40, 45 minutes total. So I'm gonna go nice and slow and easy, but it should be beautiful. There's Mm, well, there's clouds to the south, but not really any over the mountains. So I'm not sure what the sunset will be like, but I'll try to get part of at least the beginning of the sunset, sunset for the hike. And yeah, we should enjoy a really lovely Saturday evening sunset hike. So let's go.
All right, another amazing hike done. Intended to only do 45 minutes. Ended up doing over an hour. I get out there and I just lose my mind. My brain basically just shuts off and I just walk. But I was going really slow. So I feel pretty good. I don't feel that exhausted. I'll probably feel it later tonight. <laughs> but no, it, it felt really good. I was really enjoying it. The weather was good. It's sunny. Although I did get a tiny bit of shade for just a brief moment. There was like one little cloud <laughs> that went over the sun for about 10 minutes. And it was really nice. That cooled things down a lot. So just really enjoyed a perfectly lovely hike. The sky is already starting to turn colors from the sunset. I think it's going to be another sunset like last night where there aren't any clouds, but there's a few. But I think the colors tonight are going to be really cool. Yesterday, the sun went below the horizon just as I was leaving the park. I kind of got that in the vlog. And then I couldn't vlog while I was driving, but it was beautiful as I was driving home. The sky over the mountains just turned lavender. I mean, it was just stunning. It's just so cool watching the colors kind of change across the sky as the sun goes down. I've been noticing that on Tuesdays and Thursdays when I'm on campus, because the sun is setting right as I'm getting out of work and out of the classroom. So I'm done teaching at 5.45. The sun is now setting at about six o'clock. So I drive home at sunset, but I'm just, I'm driving home during some of the most beautiful sunsets and I have a perfect view of them. They're becoming some of those like moments of magic that I'm intentionally seeking out this year. Anyway, I'm gonna be out here again tomorrow. I didn't wanna make this a very long, car chat, but I have been enjoying doing these post hike car chats. I'm going to get home and relax and enjoy the rest of a very lovely Saturday evening. now Sunday afternoon, not morning. I've been up for a few hours, but I did let myself sleep today. Today's the first day all week that I haven't had to wake up for something early. I let myself sleep. <laughs> I really needed it. I'm gonna definitely go for a hike this afternoon at about four. I wanna get up and like get out there by four. I think I'm just gonna read the rest of the afternoon. I've got just under two hours left in, no, just over two hours left in the Telephone Box Library book. I think that's what it's called. It's another book by Rachel Lucas, who I read a few vlogs ago, a couple of vlogs ago. I read The Winter Cottage by her. Loved it. It was really cute. And so I just decided to keep reading that author. This is book one of two. I don't know if there's going to be a book three down the road, but there's two books so far in this series set in this little village. And I'm really enjoying the first one. So if the first book is really good, I'll probably roll straight through into the second book. Yesterday, I finished reading The Little Book of Luca by Mike Viking or Mika Viking. It was good. I think of the two. The Little Book of Hookah is my favorite. It just feels like it's a little bit more easily adaptable to an individual's everyday life. The Little Book of Luca is more about happiness in general. I thought it was still going to be happiness in general on an individual level, but it is more about like 
it is about individual happiness, but it's also about like building a collective community that fosters more happiness. And so some of the tips and advice and like research that he was sharing was more like, you know, you'd have to get a whole community involved or like a whole city involved. Like a huge portion about it was like on, you know, transportation and like commuting and public transit. And it's like, well, not a whole lot I can do about that in a city like Phoenix. Yeah, so some of the advice was just not really applicable to anything that I can make a change in, but like, it is important. So it was interesting to read, like to see like just what it would take on a larger scale for society to just feel a little bit happier and more satisfied with life. And so it was really interesting to read, but not quite quite what I was personally hoping for. So I finished that and now I'm reading Solve for Happy by Mo Gadot, which I've already started listening to on audiobook and really like it. And I've already, like, I'm already familiar with his argument, like his whole like premise of the book. As I'm listening to the audiobook, I'm realizing there's just bits that I wish I could like highlight or like page flag. So I'm going back through what I've already listened to and I'm reading it again kind of skimming it, but making notes of things that I want to like note down. I have not had much to eat yet today because I slept in so I wasn't hungry to begin with, but I am starting to feel hungry now. So I'm gonna go get some coffee and some orange juice and some breakfast and get curled back up in my chair and read Rachel Lucas's book, read that novel. Try to get that finished before I go hiking. Otherwise I will finish it tonight when I get back from my hike. It's just a really lovely Sunday. I'm just focusing on today. So just taking each moment as it comes and enjoying all of these little moments. Okay, it is 10 minutes to four o'clock. I'm doing okay on time. I wanted to be out the door by four, if not a little bit sooner. Um, so I will take you guys with me. We'll go on a bit of an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. It is 72 degrees, so it has warmed up. It, it is going to feel not warm. I think there's also a little bit of a breeze, so it should feel really nice, but not cool. Um, it should feel just perfect. <laughs> out there and there's still a good two hours left of daylight so I've I, I usually do as I said earlier this is about 2.8 miles I think so even if it ends up being like more like three um, if I've miscounted somehow I've been doing like 3.5 mile hikes in about an hour so I should have plenty of time even if I do slow down a bit to make sure I'm taking the right trails or if I miss something and have to double back a little bit I should still have enough time so fingers crossed but yeah it should be a lovely afternoon it's been a beautiful day oh the book I'm reading update on that the telephone box library book I'm loving it it's not what I thought it would have been from the cover the cover is adorable um, the cover made me feel like it was going to be a little bit more of a kind of rom-com and it's definitely women's fiction with a minor like romantic subplot woven in. The description also made it sound like there'd be a little bit more of the romance but the romance is definitely 
slow burn, but there's a World War II kind of historical subplot that I'm really enjoying because I love that. And so I'm I'm really enjoying it even though it's not quite what I thought it was going to be. I'm still loving it. So I've got about an hour left in it, but I didn't want to cut into my hiking time. So I put the book down. <laughs> I'm gonna go for my hike and then um, I'll probably come back and like clean up have dinner and watch I'm still watching Harlan Coben's stay close on Netflix I think I've got like two and a half episodes and then um, I think in the hour before I go to bed I'm gonna finish the telephone box library so I will try to finish that before I wrap up today's vlog um, so I can let you know my final thoughts but so far not what I thought it was going to be but still absolutely loving it so there's your update on the reading. Now let's go for a hike. I figured out the trail so I know where I'm at I know what I'm doing I feel pretty good about that <laughs> it's really windy but I'm kind of down in a wash at the moment which I would normally never stand in a wash if it were cloudy and potentially rainy but it's giving me some protection from the wind <sighs> it's just so nice being out here I'm having the best time I've got a good amount of time I've been going for 35 minutes but now that I know where I'm at and how close I am, like I don't think it's gonna take me long to get back to the junction for the main loop. I might extend my hike <laughs> out the other direction. So we will see. Oh, it's warm and it's sunny, but then it's really windy. And so that just kind of cuts the warmth of the sun just enough that it feels really, really nice out here. I wish you all could be here and I could take you all with me for real, but I hope you're enjoying the little virtual hike and coming along with me via YouTube. So let's get back to it. Thank you. 
Okay, that was unbelievable. I'm gonna pay for that though. I'm gonna pay for that hike. Might be doing yoga tomorrow instead of going for any kind of walk or hike, which will be worth it if today's hike was the price to pay for that. But <laughs> it's like gonna be the last day for the foreseeable future that's gonna be below 75. So I was kind of looking forward to going for at least a walk around the neighborhood tomorrow. We'll see, I might still be able to do that. But I have been on an hour and a half long hike, a little bit more than that. So the longest hike or workout I've had, I beat my previous record of workouts since using an Apple Watch. It was just too nice. After I checked in with you, I made it to the crossover trail faster than I thought I would. That meant that I didn't have that much further to go. It would have still ended up being like a 45 minute hike, which would have been perfectly fine. But I was feeling really good, really good. I think because I'd slept in this morning, so I got tons of sleep last night, and I'd just been sitting in the chair reading all day. So I think that's why I was feeling so good. That was kind of at about the halfway point when I realized, like, I'm actually getting close to where I'll have to turn to end the hike, but I actually kind of still feel really good. Like, I feel like I can go further. Um, and I did, and I, I continued feeling really good. It wasn't until, like, the last... 10 to 15 minutes that I was like, okay, I'm getting tired now. <laughs> but yeah, I really like, first of all, now I know I can do like a really long loop if I want to. There's enough trails here that I can manage that and still stay at the kind of lower elevations and not have really high inclines. I think the fact that it was windy also helped. It just kept me feeling cooler. And so as long as I don't get overheated, he overheating is what tires me out the most. That wasn't really a factor for me today, so that was good. I don't know how many miles I did. I'll have to look that up. I can't, oh no, maybe I can see that. Yeah, four miles, 4.7 miles. I'm really glad if it's about to warm up and if my hiking days are limited, if the, you know, it's that feeling of if this is the last hike of the season. I don't think it will be. I think there will still be some more hikes over the next few weeks. But if this was the last hike of the season, I, I won't be angry. I'll be sad, but I won't be angry because this, this was quite possibly the best hike of this whole winter. Anyway, I am going to go. I will check in with you one more time. I wanna to try to finish that book so I can give you an update. But the sun is setting, as you can see from the light. I will check with you guys later. Okay, I lied. I'm not leaving yet. Just realized the sun is literally about to go down behind the mountains on the western horizon. So I thought we'd stop and watch the sunset. Okay, it is now the end of the night. Um, it is 10.43. I need to go get in bed <laughs> and go to sleep. That hike was perfect. It really was. 
I'm probably gonna be tired and in pain tomorrow, but I have no regrets. We'll see. <laughs> But I've been having a very relaxed evening. I've just been sitting here cozy in my blankets. And I have finished reading The Telephone Box Library by Rachel Lucas. Loved it. Not what I thought it was going to be, based on the cover and the description and all of that. But still really, really cute. And I really enjoyed it. And I'm sticking with the Rachel Lucas theme because I'm reading a third book by her in a row. Um, there's a second book in this little Maudley Village series. So I've just started the second book, which is The Village Green Bookshop. I might read the first chapter before I go to bed, but I need to go do that now. So question of the vlog. I've asked this before, but it's a fun question to ask every now and then. The hike yesterday and especially today have been two absolutely magical moments of this this weekend so I would like you to tell me what moments of magic have you had in the last several days because this video will go up on the Friday after the weekend I've just been filming just in the last several days what are some one or two moments of magic that you've had magic is my word of the year or magical is my word of the year and but I hope that in watching these vlogs I can encourage all of you to find your moments of magic, moments of bliss, moments of happiness, whatever word you want to use. I want to know what moment of magic you have had recently. So let me know in the comments. Give the vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. All of that great stuff. And I will see you all very soon in the next vlog. Thank you very much for watching this one. Bye!